day on space stars. Space ghosts Jan, Chase, and Blip discover a strange and deadly intruder to the star system. Then, the teen force roars into action against the all-evil Uglor and his plan for conquest. Herculoids! A battle cry of the Herculoids calls the members to face danger and possible destruction. Next on Space Stars. Space Stars! A galaxy of heroes team together in an interstellar battle against evil. Blast off on adventures as big as the cosmos itself. Race, poised on the edge of time with Space Ghost and his young friends. Straight through the universe with Space Ace, Astro, and the Space Mutts as they spring into action. And somewhere deep in space, Super Danger threatens the Teen Force. Join the famed Herculoids in their new battles to preserve peace on the planet Quasar. Now get set for 60 laser blasting minutes of action, adventure, fun, on Space Stars. Of all the mysteries Space Ghost has ever encountered, few will match this solitary spaceship. For this is no ordinary space cruiser. It is bait for the ultimate trap. Nearby, Space Ghost's young friend Jace is on a scouting mission. Space Ghost said he picked up some weird radio wave activity around here. But I sure don't see anything. I guess I may as well go on back. Wow! What a tough-looking ship! Wonder whose it is. Ahoy, ship! Anyone there? Hmm. Shuttlecraft to Phantom Cruiser. Roger, Chase. Find anything? I'm not sure. There's some kind of dragster ship out here. It looks abandoned, and I thought I'd check it out. OK, but watch yourself. Hmm. Nobody home. I wonder if anybody would mind if I took it for a little ride. This baby really moves. Jan, did Jay say a face only a mother could love? I uh, can't wait to be a big TV star, eh, Blip? <laughs> Come in, Jace. What have you found? I think he shut off his radio. Something's wrong. Get a fix on the shuttlecraft. Got it. Let's go! The twin moons of Bellerophon. Bellerophon I, rich with the galaxy's most precious ore, gold. Once mined, it is transported on a gigantic pipeline for refining on Bellerophon II. The work is handled by the most honest laborers in the galaxy, robots. Bellerophon moons, all that gold, mine for the taking. Guard stations alert, we are under attack. There's the shuttlecraft, but no Jace. I don't like this space ghost. Bellerophon 2, calling all available ships. We are under attack. We'd better check it out. My plan is working perfectly. Soon, not only Jace will be in my clutches, but space ghost as well. Gold! I must have more gold! I will destroy it. Destroy the Phantom Cruiser! Did you see who that was? Jace! What's happened to him? I'll have to get aboard that ship. 
Stay out of his way, Jan. Okay, Blip, let's go. Boy, Jay sure has the Midas touch. So much gold. And I wanted to stop him. I'll help him instead. Get some gold for myself. I'll get all of it for myself. I must have that gold. <laughs> Leave me alone, you stupid monkey! What am I doing? <laughs> Thanks, Blip. There's something about this ship that makes people evil. I have an idea who's behind this, but first I'll have to take care of Jace. Blip, go back to the Phantom Cruiser. <laughs> okay, Jace, come and get me. That pipeline's plenty thick. It should hold Jace for a while. Space Ghost will pay for this. There's something on that ship that controls emotions. Sounds like the wizards were. Right. I'll bet he's hanging out somewhere around here. You were right. There it is. It's jet black. No wonder we couldn't get a visual. Try and find the machine that's causing all this. I'll take care of the wizard personally. So, Space Ghost approaches. I shall arrange a most unpleasant welcome for him. Just the sort of layout you'd expect from a cheery guy like the wizard. Nope, can't go through there. Got to keep reminding myself these are just the wizard's tricks. So, you made it through my little illusions, did you? I'm tired of your games, wizard. This time I'm putting you away for good. Ah, but this is no illusion. Now to destroy you. This must be the machine the wizard uses to control people's minds. I'll push fear. You're finished, Space Ghost. <laughs> no, don't hurt me, Space Ghost. I'll be good, I swear it. Please, please take me away from here. Jan must have gotten to your machine, wizard. Now, oh, forget Jace. I must have more gold. I must get out of this pipeline. Boy, Jace must really be mad. Space Ghost, the whole pipeline will explode, and Jace with it. There must be another one of those machines in here somewhere. You! You've come for my gold, haven't you? Well, you can't have it. I'll destroy the whole ship first. No, Jace. We must destroy the wizard's box before... I can't let it affect me. The self-destruct button will do the trick. No! What, 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 what am I doing? You're getting out of here, that's what you're doing. Come on! I must say, brother dear, I had no idea you were so talented. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Why, you just zoomed on in there and ripped off all that gold as if you were opening a can of peas. Of course, that was while you were under the influence of the wizard's machine. Normally, you aren't so talented after all. <laughs> Space magic with the Herculoid. Tundro! Tundro! Tundro, come over here, quick! Tundro, I want to show you a trick. A trick using magical magnetism. <laughs> an ordinary wooden stick. First, I set the straw down on the table. Then I take this ordinary wooden stick and rub it on my arm to summon up the mysterious magnetic forces. Now, move in real close, Tundro, and keep your eye on that straw. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. The stick wasn't really magnetized. When you moved in to get a real close look, I secretly did this. 
So it wasn't magnetism, but air that made the trick work. <laughs> Not a bad trick, huh, Tendril? <laughs> Remember, practice makes perfect. And now, today's space fact. Gee, Space Ace, it's really cooking out here. Mercury's awful close to the sun, isn't it? But you were the one who said it would make the perfect summer vacation spot. Make that a simmer vacation. What makes the sun so hot anyway, Space Ace? Well, Astro, the sun is slowly, very slowly shrinking, which accounts for some of its heat. But the sun gives out a thousand times as much heat as just shrinking alone could produce. Come on, Spacey Acey. You can give me the real lowdown. Why me? Anyway, as I was saying, Astronomers have found the sun and other stars are great nuclear furnaces. There are explosions happening on the sun. The process is called nuclear fusion, and it creates so much energy that the temperature at the center of the sun reaches millions of degrees. Deep inside the sun, hydrogen atoms crowd together. It turns the atoms of hydrogen into a completely different substance, helium. Astro? The sun is exploding? You know, Ace, old pal, I hear they have great summer skiing on Pluto. <laughs> we now return to our program. The planet Mura, a peaceful world dotted with lakes. But today, that peace has been shattered by the dreaded Uglor's warship orbiting above Mura like a giant vulture. Leaders of Mura, I command you, surrender your planet to my rule. Never will we yield to your tyranny, Uglor. Of course you will. After a little persuading, <laughs> fire missile one. You are now at the mercy of my space slime. Billions of tiny organisms that feed on any moisture they can find. Help! 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 There, there. You'll be all right. Surrender, fools, before it is too late! <laughs> Enough, Uglor. Our planet is yours. Please, please, call off your slime. Fire antidote. <laughs> Welcome, citizens of Mura, to an exclusive club. The United Planets of Uglor. <laughs> Move it! All the free worlds are surrendering to Uglor faster than you can say shifty-eyed space apes. The question is, how's he doing it? By plotting the path of the planets Uglor's already hit, it looks like the planet Cleo is next. Then let's get to Cleo before Uglor does. Coming up on the planet Cleo. Soon all of its riches will be mine. Sire, five objects approaching at high speed. The Team Force! Ah, this is perfect. Take us behind the nearest moon. Hmm, sure is peaceful for a planet that's supposed to be under attack. Maybe Uggler has decided to skip this one. No, I sense his presence nearby. Must be an easier way to play shoot you. Help! Help! Oh, please help! <gasps> oh no! Incredible! This stuff aged in 50 years in a few seconds. Uh oh! We're safe! 
safe for the moment, guys. But I don't know how much longer I'll be able to project this psychic energy barrier. Oh, how noble, Team Force. But if you wish to save Cleo from my space slime, then swallow your pride and admit defeat. Never, you overstuffed baboon! Then I hope you had your anti-slime shots. You're the guy who's about to take some shots, Uglor. Fire missile! The whole sky is filling with space slime. It must be feeding on the atmospheric moisture. Keep coming! Moleculat, my powers are weakening! Hang on, Electra! to hold it back. Got to. Oh, no! Electra, are you okay? All right, Uglor. You win. We surrender. <laughs> the mighty teen force. But from now on, you'll take orders from me. All I need is one good reason to give that guy a thrashing. Wait a minute, kid. You promised to restore Electra and the Astromice to normal, so let's do it. My rejuvenation machine is within my ship, and that's where it will stay. That's a good reason. <laughs> Thanks, Glax. Nice work, old girl. Hey, knock it off. I used to be young myself, you know. Hurry. Let's get our cycles, get the old folks on board, and find that rejuvenation machine. No one escapes, Uglor! No one! <laughs> This rejuvenation machine should have you back to normal in a few minutes. The sooner the better. Shut off that machine now, or I'll destroy it along with your friend. First answer one question. Who does your force? What? The slime! Oh, the antidote! It doesn't work! I'd say your space slime is mutated into a new strain, one that's immune to the antidote. And if we don't destroy it, it'll overrun this ship. And eventually the entire universe. But first, it will overrun you! He's gone, and we can't chase him. First, we must destroy the slime. Before it gets to us. Swell. But how? We'll have to totally destroy this ship. With the help of Moleculad's molecular energy, I might be able to shrink it with my telekinetic powers. Do it. We haven't a second to lose. I've programmed the autopilot to take this ship straight into a star, so hurry! Ta-da! Save the fanfare. And get to the rocket cycles, all of you! Huh. That takes care of the space slime. Now, to take care of all the people at age with this rejuvenation machine. I imagine it won't be too long before Uglar does the same for himself. Yeah. That's definitely one guy who isn't going to mellow with age. <laughs> Time for a space mystery with Space Ace and the Space Mutts. This is Auto World, where the galaxy's latest experimental cars are on exhibit, including the super fast Lightning Bird. That cosmic car thief, Auto Man, is still bragging that he can successfully steal the Lightning Bird. We're here to see that he doesn't. Don't worry, Space Ace. We're ready for him. But at this very moment... <laughs> Look there. It's the Auto Man. I'll bring him in, Space Ace.
It's mine. The fastest space car in the galaxy. <laughs> That lightning bird is really fast. The ace ship is having trouble catching up to it. So, the space police are after me, eh? All right, if they want to drag race. Thus begins the most frantic space chase in Space Ace's career. Through the solar system. Beyond Saturn. Past Jupiter. Mars. Earth. Venus! We almost had him! Why are we stopping? We just passed Mercury and it's getting pretty warm. I think we can let Auto Man sweat this one out a while. You know why Space Ace has stopped the chase? Stay tuned and find out. And now the answer to today's space mystery. Space Ace, he'll get away! Don't worry, everything is under control. Just be ready with your space lasso, Dipper. How'd you know he'd come back? Well, I realized that the lightning bird was headed directly toward the sun, so Auto Man had to turn around. <laughs> or get the worst case of sunburn in space history. We now return to our program. In moments, said Jupiter, we will be home again on Quasar, reunited with the descendants of our ancestors. Yes, Commander, it will be good. The lost city of Quasar, once home to a highly developed race who perished 500 years ago. For Tara, it is a place to study and unlock the secrets of the lost race. But for Dorno, it is a vast playground. <laughs> oh, no! Take it easy, Gleep! to our city and our people. Any life readings? Uh, no, sir. Oh, wait. There. Glue, Gleep! Find Xandor. <laughs> The strange ones are escaping! No matter. The humanoid is the one we want. Now we shall find some answers. <laughs> Something has happened to Dorno. Come, Tara! Herculoids! <laughs> Gloop and Gleep will lead the way. Aliens, why are they interested in the lost city? Why do they want Dorno? Wait here. Where is my son? Our humanoids, Commander. He is safe, and I will keep him until I have discovered the fate of my people. Your people? We are the descendants of this race, returning after a thousand-year mission to find our civilization destroyed. We had nothing to do with this. And you lie! Seize them! Now they have Sam 
No, Tandro, there's another way. I know what made the people of the Lost City extinct. The trumpeter flowers evolved in such a way that their pollen became deadly to the ancients. The flowers don't bloom anywhere this time of year except atop the great mountain. Now, Savage, we shall fight in the way of my ancestors with the energy whips. I wish no fight with you, Rankhold. Your people became extinct hundreds of years ago. We had nothing to do. We have no more talk. Now we fight. Zack, take me to the top of the great mountain. before it's too late. Only one? Yes. And it will have to do. Now you will pay, Savage. <laughs> you fear this flower. It is poison to you. Soon the rains will come, and this city will be covered by blooms such as this. This is what destroyed your ancestors, not us. I'll return to your colony in outer space and leave us in peace. <coughs> Perhaps someday we will return, and you'll be. And so Commander Rangpo and his people leave Quasar forever, defeated not by brute strength, but by a beautiful flower.
up next on Space Stars. Space Stars! A cosmic criminal lays a deadly trap for the Space Ghost team. Then, intergalactic mischief is part of a mutt's life as Astro Space Ace and the Space Mutts track down one of the galaxy's most unusual villains. And the space heroes unite to battle an evil force so powerful that stellar existence is threatened today on Space Stars. On the Intergalactic Code Center, Space Code. <laughs> no, there's no trouble on Mars, Blip. Trouble in Martian Empire is a coded message, and it holds an important secret. The secret of the only dimension that can trap a dangerous alien called the Outworlder. You Earth kids can know that secret if you break the code. Here's a clue. With these letters, it's first come, first serve. All right then, Earth kids, get to work and polish off that message. We now return to our program. The Keffel Spaceway, where transport ships move in ceaseless regularity. hasn't been giving you any trouble lately, eh, Kid Comet? Nothing for a week, Space Ghost. That's a new record for him. I've got to run, Space Ghost. The rest of the team force is waiting for me at Black Hole X. Take care. Adios, Kid. Trouble? I don't know. Might be a meteor swarm. Not unless they've come up with man-made meteorites. Look at that. It's the debris from a wrecked starship. Trouble, Space Ghost? It could be. Something big is bearing down on us from overhead. Take your stations. We'll try and outrun it. We can't shake it. That is about the most determined comet I've ever seen. Wait a minute. I've sensor scanned the comet. There's some kind of little metal box in the core. Remote control device? It's the work of the commander, mastermind of remote control. Instead of soldiers, he uses remote control devices. We could track the radio beams back to him. But in the meantime, that comet's programmed to destroy anything that moves. Even if we could catch up with it, the core's too hot to get the device. Then we could use some help. Space Ghost calling Kid Comet. Go ahead, Space Ghost. Kid, we've got a renegade comet here. We could use your help. I'd like to help Space Ghost, but Electra and Moleculat have really been on my case to get back at... You mean Kid Comet's afraid of a comet? Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Now you've got to destroy that remote control box, understand? I'll do my best. Jan, have you locked the tracking computer onto that radio beam? Like a bulldog. I think it's time we pay the commander a little visit. That dude is fast. Space Ghost, anything else I can do? Not right now, kid. Thanks. Anytime. Adios! Now, to implement my real plan. Coming up on the commander's ship, Space Ghost. That's a battle cruiser. How are we ever gonna get to him in that thing? We'll split up and enter from both sides. Jace, you and Blip find his remote transmitter and put it to sleep.
Maybe we can use this communication system to see how the ship's laid out. Hey, hey, hey what's going on? Good thinking, Blip. With a commander's remote control power, you can't trust anything around here. Invisible power. I hope Jace and Blip are having better luck. That wouldn't be hard. Enough of this. Now we're cut off from both sides. No way. This is a door. <laughs> Greetings, Commander. So, we finally meet face to face, Space Ghost. And I think it's time we had a little talk. Blip, there's the remote device. Now how do we put it out of commission? The power cables. Nice work, Blip. Let's see if we can get a little action here. Nope. Bingo! Now we scramble the circuits a little. Oh, let that be a lesson, Blip. Never fool around with electricity. Three moons and an asteroid belt are on a collision course for the capital of the galactic government. They will smash it and I will rule. And suppose we just stamp your transmitter flat. And the moons and asteroids will run amok. You'll have a greater danger on your hands. Space Ghost, Jason Blip, we've got to... Space Ghost, we did it! The transmitter is history! You've cooked your own goose, Space Ghost. What... what are you doing? I've just cooked your goose, Commander. Jan, you and Chase take the cruiser and mop up those asteroids. How do we stop three moons? It'll take the firepower of this battle cruiser and a lot of luck. Well, I needed some sharpshooting practice anyway. If you need practice, we're in trouble. Look! It's as though they've got a mind of their own. Everybody, fire! Good shooting, Jace. This will be just like shooting oh. pool. You're a fool, Space Ghost. Not even the target computers could wipe out all three moons. It would take superhuman skill. Well, I hate to brag, but eight ball in the side pocket. Rats, scratch the cue ball. It's, it's impossible. Space Ghost, we wiped out the asteroids. I, I can't believe it. Believe it, Commander. The only thing you'll be commanding from now on is the view from inside a jail cell. Thus, the Commander's evil dreams of conquest have been thwarted, and his power over celestial objects ended. Thanks to... Space Code Part 2. One dimension can trap the dangerous alien called the Outworlder. And the name of that dimension is in the code message, Trouble in Martian Empire. Here's another clue. All things must have a beginning. The Outworlder will soon be menacing the teen force. So get cracking while we warn them. The diamond ship streaks toward the Interplanetary Museum. Inside is the renowned jewel thief, Julie Newstar, on her way to snatch the renowned Jupiter Jewel, the largest diamond in the universe. Once I have the Jupiter Jewel in my hot little hands, I'll be able to finish building the cosmic laser blaster. Then I can change the shape of the Earth from a boring circle into a beautiful diamond. Meanwhile, a gala space wedding is about to take place. All the space heroes are here. Space Ghost, Jan, Jace, Blip, and the Teen Force. 
I'm sure glad you're the best man, Easy, because you are. Yeah, yeah. Can't argue with you there, Astro. Uh-oh, time to make our grand entrance. I love the space mutts dearly, you know? But sometimes... Now, how do you get mad at that, huh? The ring, please. The ring! The ring! The ring! The ring! That's Julie Newstar's diamond ship. Let's go, Space Mutts. Uh, the, what about the reception? You know, they're having ice cream and cake and... We made it, AC. There's the diamond planet, Spacey. Pull out the brake, Astro. Here's the brake, AC. Will I ever learn? That's the way out, Space Mutts. Boy, this stuff is slippery. This is no problem, Dip. No problem. Oh, boy. The Astro! Ah, a dead end. Looks like we'll have to... Oh! Well, how nice of you boys to drop by. I've been expecting you. The invisible force field will keep you clowns out of my hair while I finish building my cosmic laser blaster. And when that laser beam reaches the room, you'll all go poof! So long, boys. <laughs> There's gotta be some way out of here. AC, what's that? A Five, control panel. Four, three, two. Okay, let's go! You guys keep Julie busy while I find a way out of here. Gotcha, AC boy. As soon as I add this rock to the works, the old round earth is kaput. Hey! The Jupiter Jewel. Let's grab it, guys. <clears throat> wait, wait, I got an idea. No problem, no problem. There's always a problem when he says no problem. Ta-da! What's that? The Ace Levitation Ray. We'll float this rock right out of here. Hey, watch it with that thing, will you? What happened to the diamond? I thought this was the levitator. Guess I was wrong. That diamond's here. It's just invisible. <gasps> There's my diamond. Diamond? What diamond? Never mind. I'll find it. Now, to get rid of you pesky mutts once and for all. AC, Julie's getting away. Okay, let's move it. I'll push the molecular reconstructor button and it'll put the ship back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fixed that yesterday, AC boy. You fixed it? Yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh-oh. He said no problem. <laughs> Space Ace and those silly mutts can't stop me now. My laser blaster will carve the Earth into a diamond shape in no time. Launch the giggle gas, Astro. You got it, AC. <laughs> what else could go wrong? <laughs> you have interfered with my plans one time too many. <laughs> Your diamond-stealing days are over, Julie. 
<laughs> this is what you call togetherness? What can I say? We're family. <laughs> the final space code clue. A code message, trouble in Martian Empire. To decode the message, use only the first letter in each word. Have you broken today's code? Stand by and see as Space Ghost teams with the Teen Force next on Space Stars. We now return to our program. Something hit dome number two. Damage report. Captain, it looks like a meteor, but no problem. It didn't break through. Then back to work and stay alert. Hi, Captain. I can't wait to transfer off this tub and back onto a regular ship, one without a human brain. I heard that, crewman. Now attend to your duties or you will be punished. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. Listen, what was that? No, no! Keep away! Help! Ah! Moments later, far across the galaxy at Black Hole X, the Teen Force enters our universe. Hey, slow down, guys. I was in the middle of lunch. There's no time to lose, Molecular. I sense something has happened to a starship. Something terrible. There's the starship, drifting straight toward that tesseract. <laughs> a tesseract is a whirlpool into time, guys. And if the ship gets sucked in, there's no telling where or when in eternity it'll come out. Then we'd better change its course and fast. Hey, it looks like all the ship's energy has been drained away. So, we meet at last, Outworlder. Hey, Captain, we're on your side. Speaking of sides, mine just took a beating. The Teen Force. Uh, I'm sorry. My sensors are failing due to lack of energy. I thought you were the Outworlder. Maybe you'd better start from the beginning, Captain. This ship is the first of its kind. As Captain, my mind is wired directly into it. The ship is my body. But an Outworlder has come aboard. An energy vampire that lives on power. It has drained the life energy from my crew and my ship. Now you are in danger. <laughs> the Astromites! Come on! Are they... are they... They are not dead. They are in suspended animation like my crew. Gang, we're going to need help with this one. I'll send out a call for... Space Ghost! Looks like we've got big problems here, but this revitalizer ray I just developed should solve one of them. <laughs> Plutum, Glax, are you okay? <laughs> What is the Outworlder like? <laughs> that bad, huh, guys? Worse. You must destroy the Outworlder before he destroys me. Captain, it will be a lot easier and safer to get you and your crew off this ship and let it fall into the Tesseract with the Outworlder aboard. No, oh, my crew is not important. Only my body. My ship is important. Pardon us if we don't see it that way. Let's go, gang! No one is leaving! I have sealed all exits. I will not lose my body to the Tesseract. You're mad, Delos. I may be mad, but you are trapped until you defeat the Outworlder. We can smash through the ship's hull and escape. No, this ship is Delos's body. There's no telling what that might do to him. <sighs> Duck! Right back at you! No, Space Ghost! It feeds on energy, remember? You'll only be helping it. 
Here's some energy that ought to turn his head around. He's done a good job of it. That door's solid adamantium. I can't penetrate. <laughs> Space Ghost! They're gone. Watch those rays! Let's face it, we're lost. This ship is one big maze. But we have to find the others. Congratulations, we just found the crew. But in their condition, they won't be doing much good. <gasps> what? Look out! The Outworlder's appetite is getting worse. He's starting to convert solid matter to energy to feed himself. The Outworlder is dissolving me, bit by bit. I can feel it. Don't let him do this to me! Before we can evacuate these people, we have to get Space Ghost in here to revive them. Right. Jan calling Space Ghost. Jan calling Space Ghost. Come in. Radio waves are energy. The Outworlder must be absorbing them as you transmit. Then I'll get the message to Space Ghost myself. You know, I'm worried about that kid. Don't worry about her. Worry about us. Open the airlocks, Delos. A lot of lives are in danger. Not until the Outworlder is destroyed. Ah, still some energy in one of my power cells. What's this? Excellent. The Outworlder is in one of the ejection modules. Now I can get rid of him myself. We've just been ejected! We're falling into the Tesseract! Stand back. <laughs> At last! The Outworlder is destroyed! Space Ghost, come quick! Kid Comet and Moleculat are in the ejection module. Not anymore. I had to eject them. You fool, Delos. Your crew was in there, too. They weren't important. What matters is my ship, my body. You don't know what it's like to have such power. We'll discuss that later, Delos. Right now, you're coming with us. <laughs> this up much longer. No room in here for me to work up any speed, but I have an idea. Come on, you big cockroach, just a little more. Now, Moleculad! Grab the module, Electra. I'll take care of the Outworlder. It sounds almost alive. For a while, it almost was. But when real lives are at stake, almost doesn't count. So, thanks to Space Ghost and the Teen Force, the galaxy is safe from two power-hungry enemies. One, a greedy ship's captain who will pay with time behind bars. The other, a ruthless alien condemned to do his time in time itself.